Hello, friends, and welcome to the Cinemondo podcast um, with Kathy and Mark and me. And we're going to talk about what? We're going to do a trailer Yay. reaction for a film that's coming out in July. It's a summer release starring DQ, you know, and better as <laughs> Dr. Salmon, who is, uh, of course, Mam Mahmoudi's son. Yep. And it's a film called Lucky Baxar or Baskar. And it's directed by Venki at Luri. It's going to be a Telugu release. Oh, of course, they'll dub it in uh, other languages. Uh, so uh, we know not much about it other than he's lucky. No. Or he's maybe lucky, but he's also uh, usually a Malayalam actor. He's in a lot of Malayalam films. So it's cool. I think it's cool that a lot of these actors are now crossing over and they bring more attention to Malayalam films, which are some of my favorites because they're more character based. They're less right. uh, stylized, like, you know, like a lot of the Hindi stuff. So uh, I think that's been really nice. So I'm interested in seeing this combination of Telugu, which was, you know, RRR, which was super stylized, you know, he, you know, they can do that. And then bringing in uh, Molly Alam sensibility. Very interested in seeing that. So he plays yeah. a banker, right? So like a banker that it, so it sounds, it sounds like a banker that make, I'm going to yeah. try to guess before I see the trailer, Okay. a banker that somehow does something a little bit shady to make some money, like a yes. film noir kind of a vibe to it. That's what it, and, what the, uh, yeah, what it'd it'd be great if it's kind of film noir. And maybe he's that. not so lucky, you know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's lucky yeah. until he's not lucky. Well, yeah. Yeah, let's find out. Well, let's check it out. So the trailer right. for Lucky Baskar. All right. And are we ready? We are ready. <laughs> He's a common oh, in English. Common. <laughs> Indian man. He's more reliable. He's more eligible. Master. The bank is telling her. Middle class mentality, sir. Middle class. Customers, they. Karchuru against Kuni. Rupe Rupe das Kuni. Pantamus, they. Walker Rupe got a Miggles Kunda Karch protest, sir. Zero. <laughs> so first of all it's just so cute it's just like yeah. dying how cute he is so great casting <laughs> because you he doesn't look like a criminal he doesn't look like a shyster like he's he just looks like a nice guy that look makes you sort of underestimate him i think he uses that to like kind of trick people because he just looks Which, like a normal like he's a middle class normal guy no big and deal. he also like seems like he's a, a good you know a good employee you know maybe yeah. he's been doing that for a while and like person you'd least expect to do something like steal but it steal seems like i didn't get the impression that he stole it because he was being sort of open about it like yeah like he's going yes when he got it's like it's like he got some kind of windfall like there was some loophole thing where he was able to make a whole bunch oh. of money because it seems like people know that he has all this money, you know, and it's not like he's trying to hide it or run away or sneak yeah. about it. Right. And he's talking about, you know, now like I have money, I'm not going to spend like a, a spend thrift anymore. And so it sounds like he just comes into money in some legal way, maybe. And then we get to see the uh, effects of how money corrupts people. Like having a whole bunch of money can sometimes lead to, worse to being worse off than you were before you got all that money it looked to me like maybe he's investing other people's money without them knowing it or uh -huh. like i That's wonder too, like because he has all access to the money he's not technically right. stealing it he's investing and then maybe he's taking the rewards i don't know but it seemed like he knew more than they kind of the, again i think he was under making everyone underestimate like, he's just this normal guy at work but then he has this kind of there's a couple shots of him looking super confident like he's more than that Right. So I wonder about that. And also, what's the time period? It looked it looked like it was sort of a lit was it like 80s or 90s or maybe even, I don't know. It it looked like it was a little more analog, but they had computers and computers look kind of old. 
So I'm yeah. trying to figure out like early style computers, but yeah, trying to figure out the time period there. But that yeah. might be something to it also. It's like it could be some sort of tricky um, loophole kind of thing where he gets the money because you know there's always like these clever, um, clever tricky things that maybe aren't strictly illegal or are yeah. illegal but nobody could ever catch you kind of i remember there was a superman movie like i think superman three or two with richard Pryor. remember where he becomes a, a bazillionaire because he works for this giant bank and he's a computer hacker and he somehow diverts a half a cent from yes. everyone's account i love that his own account yeah. and it's like Maybe it can be like, like that. Bi eight billion people. If you get yes. a half a penny from each one they'll of them, they'll never miss it. Right? Yeah, they'll never miss never it. Notice it. It's That's a right. half a penny. It's half a penny. <laughs> Who's gonna know? I mean, yeah. I would take Great a half idea. a penny from everyone in the world. No, <laughs> Me we, too. Me around. too. But we have a couple posters. Let's see if we can get some clues. Yeah. Okay, we got this one. That's kind of is that. Uh, that is a more interesting idea, uh, Burke, which is as opposed to him actually stealing, which is yeah, what I got out of it. Yeah. Yeah. He got that smile on his face with the yep. with the cash in front of him. He's surrounded by giant money, which is interesting. And then we have, oh, so this one looks more like he's being a businessman of some kind. And we have like, are those dollars? Yeah, look, well, not dollars, but those are definitely bills. Are they? On. It's kind of sort like of currency, a, but it looks they look kind of like like stacks like or something. Are the white bands like banded? They're like banded bunches of money with white I, bands. I, oh yeah, maybe. maybe that's what it is. It's not yeah, great stacks of bills. Yeah, yeah, they look. It looks like somebody took a picture of a of a banknote and, and uh, warped just, it and didn't warp it. Didn't yeah. didn't make it look like paper. It's just sort of pasted yeah. on. It's a little warped on the left one, but then then yeah. we have the city. Like it looks like he's almost part of a bill here. Like he's yeah. he's part of the money, and, and he's got like yeah. a halo made out of the circular right. shape, and says India yeah. at the top of his halo. Yeah, right. That's, that's, very, that's very cool. Almost like a halo. Lucky. It says yeah. lucky. So it's not like if you steal money, that doesn't make you lucky. It sounds to me like he comes into this money somehow, and it's like yeah. you got lucky, and Are he's got a halo that it? makes him seem like. He's this saintly guy. Robin just, Hood. He's a good worker. He's a very honest, super honest mm -hmm. guy. I imagine this is my take on the title, yeah. the character, the appearance of the character, the way he's yeah. presented in the trailer, yeah. and the type of story that I think might be yeah. really interesting if you see yeah. The yeah. Of a whole bunch of money on a really super honest guy who suddenly yeah. gets. It. I mean, we've seen a million stories where somebody embezzles a bunch of money and then yeah. they're right. sweating and trying to hide it and get rid of it and launder it and whatever and. This seems like maybe a little more depth than that. There's something yeah. else going on yeah. here. Well, especially if you work at a bank, you'll have some special access that most people don't have that maybe he can, you know, do something with that that is sneaky but not necessarily hurtful to people. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just rooting for him because he's so sweet. Lucky, yeah. <laughs> but also, if it is a period piece, let's say it's yeah. the 80s or 90s, then there's a better, maybe that, some, that kind of thing might work as opposed yeah. to today where, you know, it's a little bit harder maybe to do stuff like that, yeah. work those kind of, you know, even if it's a, le a legal thing. Yeah. So, but it anyway. looks like it's got a sense of humor. It looks like it's, yeah. it's not trying to take itself too seriously. It right. looks like kind of a, a fun, heisty, you know, feel to it where, you know, he's doing all this planning and stuff's working, but uh, who knows if it actually, if he gets away with it, is it going to pay off? You know, it's like, it has a cool vibe. I like it. I like the, the idea that's set in the past a little bit that that's what right. it's intriguing too but i just yeah, have a like feeling that he doesn't do anything illegal i think he's a good guy yeah. he's um, lucky just lucky. He's just lucky. He gets lucky and like one of those movies where um i can't remember melvin and howard or something where somebody helps a, a person yeah, come right. down and out person and then yeah. later finds out that person is a billionaire and they send them 20 million dollars to say thank you for helping a man in need you know or or some kind of a wind you know like just sort of a windfall that he happened to get into some class action lawsuit thing and he just signed his name and and then it paid <laughs> off 10 billion dollars and there were only three recipients or something you know i don't know i'm getting the feeling like lucky, lucky is sort of like they're kind of being sarcastic like he's lucky or is like that's I guess he's just lucky he came into some money, but then you find out he wasn't lucky that it was some uh, sort of scheme. Yeah. You know, like he, like I'm just lucky, I guess. I made all this money yeah. out of nowhere. And then you find, no, you weren't. You weren't lucky. You manufactured this entire thing. Right. So Maybe we shall see. He's lucky because he got away with it. Yeah. Right. Okay. If you guys know any details about this movie and the plot, you know, reading the trades and all that, let us know. We're dying to know. As you see, we had a lot of theories. A lot. Yeah. Of yeah. And so it's coming. It it's like coming. Looks fun. Looks really looks fun. Like fun. It's coming this summer. Big summer right. movie. 
All, All right, right, buddy. See ya. Bye. Take care. Like Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.